Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Today we're, well tonight, we're doing a flashlight review. Haven't reviewed a flashlight in a while, so I think it's just about time. Now, we're going to be reviewing the Lumentop Zoom 1. This flashlight was provided to me by Lumentop for review. So, thank you very much, Lumentop. Greatly appreciate it. Let's take a look at it. Now, this is not your typical EDC flashlight like I've shown on the channel, you know, basically up to this point. Now, let me, let me rephrase that. It's not a pocket EDC flashlight, but I would call this a, you know, a, little, a lot of people carry their backpacks, you know, this would be a good light for your backpack. Also be a good light for the glove compartment of your vehicle or something like that. Or of course, just to have one around the house. I mean, that's never a bad thing, but I would definitely, this one is going to end up in my car. I've been looking for a little bit bigger flashlight for my car, and now I do believe I found one. So let's take a look and see what it comes with real quick. Like I said, you got the flashlight there. I got lanyard. Micro USB charging cable. And down there in the bottom, we have, what's down here? Got that. Oh yeah, this little split ring. Comes with a really tiny split ring, I guess, maybe to try to put it on your keys, but yeah. I don't, I don't think we'll be doing that. And then it does come with a couple extra O-rings. So, they give you lots of goodies to go with your lumen top. Let's take a look at it. Now, as I said, much larger than your pocket EDC flashlight. It is made of aircraft grade aluminum with a wear resistant coating. And you see there, you got some really good knurling going on, lies for a good grip. Yeah, it's got a pretty good grip on it. Now this one, is, it's five inches long. It's an inch wide at the base and an inch and a half wide at the bezel. So, decent sized flashlight. You'll see in there, you've got a Cree XPL HD LED, 5,000 hour lifespan. And it runs on either a single 18650 18, lithium ion, which is what it comes with, Lumen Top brand, or it can also run on two CR123 Alpha lithium batteries. So we've got a little bit of different option for batteries there. There is your micro USB charging port. Side switch operated right there. Now, if we can see that, see how it's glowing green right now? When it's growing green, it's on standby, the little bunny there. It's red when it's charging, and when it's done charging, it turns blue. Well, that was kind of neat. So, there again, that'll kind of, that might help you find it in the dark. Trying to make sure you can see it there. So yeah, that was pretty cool. As I said, side switch operated. It has four modes. You have low mode, which is 10 lumens. Medium mode, which is 200. High, which is 400. And a turbo, which is 850. Also has like the 2 Alpha, it also has the Lumentop 2 Alpha, the smaller EDC flashlight. It also has a SOS and a strobe mode. Now for operation, I'm not going to blind you, hopefully. 
It's got one click. It turns it on. That's low mode. Click again for medium. Click again for high. And then double click for turbo. And then turn it off. Hold the button down for one second. For strobe, I don't want to kill anybody with this thing. Hold the button down for three seconds. As you can see there, it's starting to strobe. Click again. And now you have SOS mode. Press down for one second. And it's off. Now, the kind of the cool feature, and we'll kind of check this out when we go outside, is it's called the zoom, right? So, in this configuration, you have flood mode. But if you slide the bezel, oh, there's a zoom. You zoom in, and you've got more of a searchlight spotlight type. So, you can kind of, you can go from flood to search. Which I kind of, I, I personally kind of like that. Now, you also have a lockout mode, which if you hold the button down, press and hold the button down for five seconds, that locks it out. It won't turn on when it's in your bag. If you want to unlock it, you just hold it down for another five seconds, and it's unlocked. Some other features of it, it does have a memory mode, so if you turn it off on high, it's going to turn back on on high. It's got overheat protection, so if you're using it for long periods of time in... Uh, turbo mode, it will kick down to high mode to protect itself, which that is a good feature. And you also have ver reverse polarity protection in case you put the batteries in backwards. So you won't hurt it that way. So, and let's, I forgot to, I can't remember, let me give you some run times here just for, so on low mode, it'll run for 88 hours. On high, or in medium, excuse me, it'll run for almost six hours. It says five hours and 55 minutes. On high, it'll run for 200, two hours and 30 minutes. And on turbo, it says it'll run for two hours and 20 minutes. There's a little asterisk there. And it says runtime on turbo is accumulated due to the intelligent temperature control protection. So it'll kick itself down. So, and then strobe and SOS modes. They run in high mode at 400 lumens. Um, it says it projects out to 210 meters max. Impact resistant to 2 meters. And it has a water resistant rating of IP65. So, a pretty cool flashlight overall. Like I said, it's not your pocket flashlight by any means. Um, if you have a belt... You know, like, if you work security, police officer, something like that, might be a good flashlight for your belt. So, but this will probably end up, well, it's not probably, it's going to end up in the glove compartment of my truck. Because I've been looking for a little bit bigger flashlight. Not that you absolutely need one, but, I don't know. That's just me, I guess. And there, I didn't show you, it's got that crenulated bezel. So, if for some reason, somebody needed a Kraken, the crenulated bezel would kind of help out with that. But, now, the Zoom 1 does retail on Amazon for $29.99. Not a bad price. I think that's fairly reasonable for what you're getting out of it. So, let's take it outside and test it, shall we? I think that's a good idea. We'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. We're back outside. As you can see there, there's your little green bunny that shows you it's in standby mode. So we're going to push that guy. Now it was memory mode. That's 10 lumens. That is right in front of me on the ground. Now... My fence is out there probably about, oh, I don't know, 15 yards. You can't really see it. Push it in. There we go. Now we're at 200 lumens. That's medium. Got a good amount of light going out there. 
go to high 400 lumens and then there's 800 lumens back to medium back to low can't see anything medium I get out there I get out there pretty good high now here see we're kind of in the flood mode if I can push that forward see I really directed that beam down now go back to flood and then zooming back in pretty decent light overall and there's turbo I mean those trees are out there at oh they're probably at 25 yards ish so yeah pretty good pretty good amount of light all right let's go back in the house real quick there you go guys little demonstration of the Lumitop zoom one not a bad flashlight for $30 I think you're getting I think you're pretty much getting your money's worth out of it for that price fairly decent like I said this one will be going in my truck in the glove compartment just like to have a little bit bigger flashlight in the truck so thanks guys for watching greatly appreciate it thanks again to lumen top for providing the zoom one for review as always guys till next time like subscribe leave me a comment i love talking to y'all until next time i'll talk to you later guys bye bye